morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and another flight of my Bugs 2W. Um, I don't have an SD card inst installed in there. What I'm do going to do for today's flight is um, I want to try long distance flying. Uh, some of my readers suggested that I take the Quadcopter up to about 100 meters and then try to go out long distance. And that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, I am going to be recording strictly through uh, my MABAs in here. And also, I think I can record the SD video to my 720p SD video to my phone. So I'm going to hit record there also. Uh, recording to my phone. Yeah. And we're going to send it up right now. So let's start up the motors. And unlocking them. Wait. And let's go up. See how our stability is first. And again, I'm recording MABAs in. And I'm recording the received... Uh, FPV from the quadcopter at y via Wi-Fi only. I don't have a card in the quadcopter. So let's go up to 100 meters. Straight overhead. And I'm looking. Height is 16 meters. Let me go a little bit out so I don't have to crane my neck up so high. Right about there. Going up higher, 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 higher. 34 meters. How's our FPV? Our FPV is still good. We're 50 meters up. Let me go over this way a bit. Again, so I don't have to crane my neck. And which way are we pointing? Let's point a little bit more due west. Going up to 100. 57. 67. 76 meters up. We still have signal. 82 meters up. That's about a good enough. 91 meters. Okay, let's push for it and see how far horizontally we can go. We're at 36 meters horizontally. I got signal. I got real good signal from way up there. Wait, there we go. I just lost it. Oh, got it back again. Let's pitch it. Okay, I am 94 meters up and 113 meters out. And I do have signal. I'm still getting signal. Just pushing forward again. Going forward. Going forward. 151 meters out. Leveling out. Still have signal. Okay, so yeah, apparently going up a little higher helped it a bit. 179 meters out, 94 meters up. And it's just hovering there. Let's push it forward again. Going forward. Okay, I lost it right about there. 208 meters out. Okay, got it back again. It's a little bit wobbly. Got it back again. It becomes choppy when you get out that far. Um, 210 meters out, 94 meters up. Going out a little further. Pushing forward. Pushing forward, going out 230 meters. Okay, letting go of the stick, and again, it becomes choppy, but you still get some signal. 250 meters out, 94 meters up. Okay, uh, let's push it forward again. Going forward, and we are 300 meters out. That's, that's pretty damn far. <laughs> I see a little black dot in the sky. That, okay, let go of the stick. 344 meters, and now we got the circling uh, thing that says that uh, no, no more signal. And with that, I am going to, okay, no, we just got signal back again. 344 meters, 92 meters up. Okay, let's go out a little further. Oh no, that signal's, that signal has stopped. Let's see uh, if I can turn it to the right a bit. Because the uh, antenna on this quadcopter is on the right side. So let me turn it to the right just a little bit. Okay, a little bit of movement there. Yeah, I'm starting to see uh, movement again. And that means I got signal again. So let's push it with... I got the antenna pointed toward me on the right side of the quadcopter. So with that in mind, let's go out a little bit further in this direction toward the road. Okay. 352 meters out. And lost signal again, about 357 meters, 93 meters. Oh, okay, got signal back again. 
<laughs> this is interesting how this works, folks. Uh, okay, I heard a beep there, so whatever, I, whenever I hear a beep, I'm going to do a return to home and holding down the return to home button. And... And, okay, maybe a quick press of that return to home button. 348, 345, it's coming back now. And I'm starting to see a tilted view. So I, I made it out to about 350 meters. Uh, that's pretty darn good. Uh, but, again, it gets choppy there once you get out to about 200 meters. Uh, it, going up higher in altitude definitely did improve uh, the video, you know, uh, the FPV video. Um, I'm looking up in the sky. I lost sight of the thing. It's 100 meters at, 93 meters up. I shouldn't go that. There we go. I got it again. Let's see it come down from 100 meters. <laughs> there it is, way up in the sky. Yeah, that I lost sight of it there for a bit. That scares me when I lose sight of my quadcopters. But again, yeah, this one is hard to see. So I don't recommend doing this regularly, setting it at... Uh, a thousand meters or 300 meters because it is difficult to see is it descending 85 83 yeah it's coming down but yeah that helped improve the range my reader was my viewer was right let me move over here get out of its way because i'm not sure how accurate this landing is going to be it doesn't look like it's very accurate but we'll find out here shortly here it comes down right overhead So, you know, the way that is, you know, it's choppy, I wouldn't recommend relying on this FPV to be able to bring you home. Oh, it's not too bad. Not too bad to uh, return to home. But, yeah, it definitely did uh, come back. Okay, I'm going to stop the return to home, right? Uh, press the button again to stop the return to home. I still got battery power. And I like this quadcopter just for the fun of it, because um, it is a zippy thing. So let's just uh, do the remainder of the battery doing some sport flying. <laughs> yeah, this is a much better flyer than, you know, people say, oh, I like my Hubson 501. Your Hubson 501 can't fly like this bird can. This bird is very fast. Very zippy quadcopter. Uh, remember when I was in the Philippines, when the Eagle got a hold of my H501C? I don't think the Eagle can keep up with this one. I think this one can easily outpace the Eagle. H501 can't. <laughs> so if you've got a big bird of prey going after your quad, this one will be able to get away from the, the Eagles. Yeah, I do like this quad. <laughs> okay, I'm having enough fun now. Uh, how's my battery? And this thing has good battery life too. I still got a lot of battery. Three bars. Going up again. Do I say, oh my goodness, I'm way out there. Oh, there we go, I lost signal at that point there. 177 meters, let's take it up higher and see if I can get that signal back. Going up, 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 up. Let's turn it to the right a bit. See if I, yeah, I got the signal back. <laughs> there we go. So going up higher and pointing its right side to work. Well, I lost the signal again. Okay, I'm flying at line of sight, bringing it back. Full forward pitch, turn to the right, turn to the right. I see a black dot in the sky turning to the right. And now that black dot stopped, so it should be coming back toward me. Yeah, folks, um, I, I say this over and over again, but you should learn to be able to fly this thing just by visual line of sight alone, uh, just by its movement. Again, it was moving to the right, so all I had to do to bring it back to me was turn to the right. So, coming back again. Love the bugs, too. This, MGX really has a winner with this thing here. Um, you know, the FPV is, yeah, cool. I was able to go out at 350 meters there. 
had choppy interference though past about 200 meters but that's still pretty darn impressive for FPV uh, I seen some guy get what is this something ridiculous like 600 meters range okay time to bring it in there's my beep so let's bring it in for a landing my bugs too get it on the pad get it on the pad get it on the pad ah <laughs> that's it so that's the MJX Bugs 2. Let me stop. Oh, that, that recording stopped, but how about this one? A lot of fun. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed this flight. Quadcopter 101, side of God.